Hey, I'm Guy Jubert with Team Wilson Combat. And today we're gonna to be doing some barrier tests. The weapon system that we're gonna be using is the 300 Hammer Protector Carbine from Wilson Combat. This is a 16 inch barrel gun. The ammunition is all loaded by Wilson Combat. The three bullets that we're examining is the 110 grain Control Chaos from Lehigh Defense, the 135 grain Hammer Bonded from Spear, and the 130 grain Hammer Hot Core also from Spear. The three barriers that we'll be shooting through today will be a vehicle door, a vehicle windshield, and four layers of denim. The gel block that we'll be using is an eight by eight by 24 inches deep gel block that weighs 40 plus pounds. So when you see on the slow motion camera, the levitation of the gel block itself, just remember that, that thing weighs 40 plus pounds and the impact of these projectiles are lifting it off of the table pretty much completely. For this first test, we're gonna shoot through a door panel of a Chevy 2500. We are shooting the Wilson Combat loaded 300 hammer ammunition using the 110 grain controlled chaos from Lehigh Defense. This projectile is designed to travel at 2600 feet per second out of an 18 inch barrel. We are shooting it out of a 16 inch barrel today, but let's see how this performs through the door panel into the jail block. All right, so what we've got is a clean shot through the door. We caught a little bit of the brace. You've got a big violent balloon, which is showing your energy dump. And then you've got pedals that are shearing off of that control chaos bullet from 11 inches all the way out to about 17 and a half. And the base did come out the side at about 21 and a half inches. This bullet is designed for the base to retain and exit. So you've got an entry and an exit wound. Gives you a blood trail for tracking purposes. Even when that base does slip out the side, it's traveling at such a low velocity that it's, it's not going to be detrimental at all, if any, to a secondary target. The way this bullet's designed is to shear off and basically become shrapnel inside the target, it's gonna be devastating to the threat. In this test, we're gonna be shooting the 135 grain spear hammer bonded bullet. It's designed to travel at 2,400 feet per second out of an 18 inch barrel. Let's give it a whirl and see what happens. All right, so the 135 grain spear hammer bonded. We got a good solid hit through the brace in the door. Massive impact. Pretty well starts dumping energy and ballooning out on impact of the gel. We've got the projectile doing a buzz saw to a depth of 18 and a half, 18 and 5 eighths inches. This is not staged, but this was literally laying on the table when we walked up on it. You don't have to worry about over penetration at all with this projectile, but that, the way that disformed and then buzz sawed 18 and a half inches through the gel and then lost all of its energy in this massive balloon and impact fell out on the table. Pretty impressive round. We're going to be shooting the 130 grain hammer hot core projectile. This projectile is designed to travel at 2,500 feet per second out of an 18 inch barrel. Let's send one and see what happens. Again, a good solid punch through the door skin and the brace. Big entry hole, pretty good sized balloon. Your projectile did travel 19 inches in the gel block. The gel block did retain the projectile. Looks like we've 
lost little bits and pieces of mass throughout the the trail which is okay that's just shrapnel inside the the target um, causing more damage gonna lacerate more things big thump splattered gel goo all over the door traveled 19 inches and retained so not a big worry of over penetration when shooting through a barrier let's pull it out and take a look at it that's a lot of mass to be rotating while inside the target that thing's going to be devastating even after it punched through the skin and the brace of the door panel very impressive we're going to be shooting through a vehicle windshield into a gel block using the Wilson combat loaded 300 hammer ammunition the projectile that we're looking at today is the Lehigh defense 110 grain controlled chaos this load is designed to travel at 2600 feet per second out of an 18 inch barrel we are shooting a 16 inch barrel today but let's send one down range and see what the results are All right, so we've got a clean shot through the vehicle windshield. Pretty much the bullet did exactly what it's designed to do. Um, drop all of its energy, basically frag out, which is the, the control chaos. There's a lot of chaos going on inside the target on impact with all the, the shrapnel from, from everything fragging out. The base did retain, traveled roughly 20 inches and leaked out the side again. This bullet did exactly what it was supposed to do, even through the, the car glass. Very impressive. The bullet that we're going to be looking at performance-wise is the Spear Hammer Bonded 135 grain. This load is designed to travel 2,400 feet per second out of an 18-inch barrel. We are using a 16-inch barrel today. Let's give it a shot and see how it performs through the automobile glass. Clean shot through the windshield glass. Good impact. Got about 21 and a half inches of penetration with the majority of the mass. We do have some fragmentation in here um, outside of the, the main portion of the balloon. You do have a big balloon, so you had that energy spike and dump um, on the impact. Pretty much started on impact of the gel block and runs to about the 12 inch mark and then it starts dying down and you just have the the trail of the projectile pretty good performance for going through a windshield glass um, retained a majority of its mass everything you're looking for performance of a projectile the projectile that we're testing the performance on is the 300 hammer 130 grain hammer hot core designed by bill wilson himself in conjunction with spear this projectile is designed to travel 2500 feet per second out of an 18 inch barrel but let's give the test a try and see what the results are No problems with the windshield. Huge entry wound. It basically split the gel completely open from the entry wound all the way down to the table. Massive energy dump. Um, balloon runs to about the 12 inch mark. Retained the majority of the mass. Stopped 18 and a half to 19 inches into the gel block. No issues with over penetration. Mushroomed up very nicely, much like we expected. Got a lot of mass still there from that 130 grain that you started off with. We did see some frags in there, but that's okay. That's just more devastation inside the, the target. The hammer hot core performed pretty much how I expected it to. We're gonna do a gel block test. 
We're gonna have four layers of denim in front of that, simulating heavy clothing on an individual. The ammunition is loaded by Wilson Combat. The projectile that we'll be testing is the 110 grain controlled chaos from Lehigh Defense. This load is designed to travel 2,600 feet per second out of an 18 inch barrel. Let's send one downrange and see what happens. So we went through one, two, three, and four layers of denim into the gel block. Good entry through the denim. Pretty good sized balloon. You can start seeing fragmentations of the bullet about two and three quarter inches all the way out to 12, 12 and a half. We did keep the base in the gel block. We do have a slight impact in the nylon on the Kevlar plate right here and then the gel sucked it back in. You can see the controlled chaos with all the debris, the shrapnel through the wound channel. It's gonna be devastating inside with all those sharp points and petals of the shrapnel going through the, the target, the body organs, the tissues. Let's pull that base out. The base is basically everything below the crimp line. The projectiles hollowed out down to the base and then blows the rest of this top end completely off, frags out like a little grenade going off inside the target. Performed exactly like we thought it would through four layers of denim and into the gel block. Projectile that we will be examining the performance of is the 135 grain spear hammer bonded. It's designed to travel 2,400 feet per second out of an 18 inch barrel. Let's send one down range and see what happens. Four layers of denim, didn't even slow it down really. Big thump on impact, good sized balloon. Pretty immediately, maybe a half inch in, you really start getting that expansion of the balloon. The balloon runs nine to 10 inches. Projectile was retained within the gel block. The way it spun and ended up, we're probably in between 18 and a half, 19 inches. If we do have some, some pieces of fragmentation from the bullet throughout the path of the bullet, thick clothing, not gonna stop this thing or slow it down much or hinder its ability to perform. Pretty good mushroom. Base stayed together well. Everything just collapsed down, mushroomed over the base. Good mass retention on that 135 grain bullet. They just work and they work every time, no matter what the barrier is. The projectile that we'll be testing is the 130 grain spear hammer hot core. This load is designed to travel at 2,500 feet per second out of an 18 inch barrel. Let's send one and see what happens. Four layers of denim. Again, didn't stand a chance. Massive, violent impact. Starts displacing gel and disturbing the inside of the gel block immediately on impact. Good big balloon demonstrating the energy dump of the bullet. Balloon kind of runs out to that 9, 10, 11 if we're being generous, Mark. Projectile itself traveled through the gel 19 inches. You do see little frags of uh, the bullet throughout the, the path of the bullet. The violent punch of this hammer hot core is mind boggling. It blew the simulated heavy clothing 10 feet out in front of the block on impact. Base stayed intact, everything just rolled over the top of it, widening out, making a pretty good wound channel all the way through the block. 300 hammer wins again. So after three different tests with three different bullet types, the conclusion that we had is 
All three of these projectiles being shot out of the 300 hammer by Wilson Combat, the barriers have very little effect, if any at all, on the performance of the projectiles. The car door, the car windshield, the four layers of denim simulating heavy clothing, none of them change the performance of any of these three projectiles. The 300 hammer and the projectiles themselves are very intriguing, fascinating, and performed very well in all three tests. I was impressed, I was amazed, not really surprised, because I know what these things can do, but it was still a fun test, and we really enjoyed doing it, and we hope you guys did too. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tests like this in the future.